the type of law that I practice. I run around the country and sue insurance companies in, in states all over. And I am often on the road three or four times a month. I try cases that are two or three months long. If somebody without the disease could do it, well, then I could do it. And I did it. While I was in the hospital, I had work with me. I had, you know, I had my dictaphone there, and there was a phone in the room, and I had people bring me my mail from the office, and I tried to work as much as I could just to fight back, just to stay in the game somehow. I learned an interesting lesson, though. I was out for three months then, and I was out for three months again. And everybody thinks they're indispensable in the world. And what I found out was nobody's indispensable. The world didn't come to an end. My law practice didn't go down the hill. My law firm didn't have to close, and, and everybody just kept going. A couple of years ago, we went to the Greenbaum Cancer Center to help them serve Thanksgiving dinner to people who were stuck in the hospital and couldn't get out. I had been there one year for Thanksgiving and couldn't get out. And there was a guy who came in the room who had just been diagnosed with cancer and was going to need a bone marrow transplant. And he was crying and he was upset. His family hadn't gotten there yet. And I went over to him and I told him that 10, 15 years earlier, I had been in the hospital Thanksgiving. And I told him that they had told me I had 18 months to live. And here I was, a 15 or 16 year survivor. And I watched his head come up and his shoulders come up and he stopped crying. He's really? And I wasn't there to serve potatoes that day. I was there to talk to that guy. And there was, there was meaning in that. There's too many people in the Congress that don't understand. There's a lot of money being spent to try and find the cure for various forms of cancer, but not nearly enough, if any, being spent to help survivors survive. It's one thing to, to get through the disease. It's another to be a survivor. There are all kinds of problems. There's insurance problems. There's employment problems. There's, there's social problems. There are just incredible difficulties that survivors have to go through. And the government has, for an understandable reason, has not put a lot of money into it. The understandable reason is that people believe that if you had cancer, you were going to die. So why do we need survivor programs? There aren't any. Well, now there are 10 million of us. And we've got to get that message across to the Congress that there are 10 million of us and every day there are more because every day there are more people that get cancer because we're doing so well, stopping heart disease and all the others, that more people are, are living long enough to get cancer and we're saving more cancer survivors. But this is not something that should be a, a partisan issue. This isn't a Republican issue or a Democratic issue. It, cancer will hit both sides equally, you know, the, the, and, and survivors are Republicans and Democrats and independents and black and white and purple and green and everything else. And they need, they need help from the government. My name is Mark and I'm a 19-year hairy cell leukemia survivor.